Hi guys, today I do the secret video uh, which the, my pre previous video I was talking about the VLAN so this video I'm going to talk about the inter VLAN routing okay so I have also uh, used the uh, previous video topology that is going to talk about the VLAN okay so today I'm going to do uh, inter VLAN routing I mean that everyone in each VLAN can communicate with each other all right. I mean that uh, this uh, PC zero laptop zero here going to t uh, communicate with this and this guy. As this guy can communicate with with the laptop one and laptop three can also communicate with the laptop zero, laptop one, something like that. All right. So each VLAN can communicate to another VLAN. All right. So to do that, we have to create a. I mean, to uh, in the for the production network, we have to buy another router. All right. Just one router only. This is enough. And I'm going to do the router on the stick in this video that this uh, actually this is the, the trunk link that going to uh, carry the VLAN traffic here okay all right so this guy going to handle everybody you're going to in, uh, going to config the encapsulations and something like that all right so configuration is a little bit complex actually this is the router config configuration uh, what we have to do is we have to go to the interface this is the interface that connect to the switch we have to no shut down this interface first. Actually, we don't have to config any IP on that physical interface, and then going to exit. After that, I'm going to create a sub interface of that uh, main interface. I mean, physical interface. So just uh, just be patient. I'm going to show you in the next in the next minute, and then going to uh, try to create encapsulation of one two dot, uh, and x x is the VLAN that we want to configure on the sub interface. And we set the IP address. Okay, and then no start. All right, this is the router dot configuration. It's a little, it's a little bit complex, and this is the switch configuration. Actually, the switch configuration is kind of easy. We just need to go to the interface. I mean, that this interface is the interface that connects to the router. And then we go. We we only type one command: switch forward mode run. Actually, some of the switch uh, is uh, is also required. Uh, one more command is going to say uh, switch for trunk encapsulation dot one q or dot s or something like that. But it just ignore it first. Just uh, focus only on this command. On this command, okay. So this is the uh, topology that I used before. And uh, what we need to do is that I'm I'm going to use uh, uh, twenty nine eleven router model, and I'm going to connect to that switch okay so what you do is that on the switch I have to go to the switch here I have to go to the interface fa0 slash 5 and the switch port mode trunk because I'm going to, to assign this part of the trunk interface trunk link okay after that on the router 0 here I'm going to config the first thing Go into the uh, interface to commit zero slash zero. I'm going to no shut down it first. Okay, so don't ha you don't have to configure anything on the interface. Okay, so after that we uh, we have to create a sub interface on that interface. So interface to commit zero slash zero. Dot. We can dot. We can dot anything because you have plenty of number that you can use. So actually, uh, I represent that sub interface for the VLAN ten. I'm going to use dot ten. To just uh, myself easy to remember, okay, and then the and let's say I'm going to type encapsulation dot one two and ten ten is the VLAN ten for the sub interface, alright. IP address ten zero ten one for the um, before route before gateway, alright. Two five five slash twenty four and those are down. So the next thing I'm going to create another one is two bit zero slash zero dot twenty. For the VLAN 20, encapsulation of 1 to 20, and IP address 10.0.20.1, and slash 24, something like that. And that's it. This is the end of the router configuration. What you need to do is that on each router, I'm sorry, on each PC, we have to um, assign the gateway. Alright, 10.0.10.1. 10, uh, make sure the ping is work. Ping 10.0.10.1. 10, okay, nice. And on, on the laptop zero, the laptop one, it's the same thing. Okay, so VLAN ten, 
uh, the gateway is 10.0.10.1 and VLAN 20 the gateway is the 10.0.21 okay, so I can ping to the gateway ping 10.0.21 alright the same thing on the last PC okay alright so right now after I can ping the gateway uh, and now I can't uh, uh, do the intervalent routing. First of all, this is the PC3, so I'm going that uh, the it's in the network 10.0.20.0, uh, 20 Sun24 network. So right now I'm going to ping to the dot 10 network, ping 10.0.10.100. This is the laptop in the VLAN 10, ping from laptop in the VLAN 20. Let's see. And you can see that ping work. Okay, because uh, of because of this because of this router, this router do the routing have the VLAN to come communicate with each other. Uh, this this method we call the router on the state. All right, I hope you guys uh, practice it a, a lot about about the uh, uh, VLANs and the uh, inter VLAN routing. And hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you very much.